quickly, who is this in the interview? That is Miss Teresa Black. And do you recall about how long she'd been waiting? I'll estimate 15, 20 minutes tops.
read from here to here, but I want to stop, okay? This is your statement of land rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you are being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. You may exercise these rights without answering any questions or making any statements. I need you to initial from here to here that I read them to you, okay? All right, the next line says, I have read my rights, understand each one of them. Do you have any questions about them? No. Okay, that's great. Understanding the rights listed above, do you wish to talk to us at this time? I need you to initial yes or no. Yes. All right, I need you to sign here. Do you want to try to use that hand and I'll bring it closer? Yes. Okay. All right. Why is Ms. Black having difficulty using her right hand? And I'm looking at that as well. I don't recall if they're set up, if she has handcuffed one of her hands or if she has an injury. I don't recall, but I'm seeing that as well. You don't have any independent recollection? I don't recall. All right. Spell your word first name for me. Kate Eckhart. Last name. E-L-A-C-K. Any middle name? Bailey. Okay. B-A-I-L-E-Y. What's your date of birth? June 11, 1975. About how tall are you? I'm 4'11". About how much you weigh? About 105 pounds. And can you give me your address again? 2443 East Mobile Lane, apartment 201, Phoenix, Arizona, 85041. I know when you got brought up here, that's okay. What was that? That was her cell phone ring. Alright, today is the 15th, approximately 1045. We're at Phoenix Police Headquarters. You said you live with your daughter. Yes. What's her name? Nakaya. N-A-K-A-I. Middle initial L. Last name. And you said she's 17. Where does she go to school at? She goes to Strong Home Online. Okay. And we already talked. So you and Nathan broke up like a year ago, you said? No, well, we broke up a couple of years ago. Still kicking in there, right? We've really been close because he was there for a long time. He's pretty much totally raised my daughter. That's what I was going to ask. But he's not the father of the kid? Okay. What's Nathan's last name? Washington. Okay. And I'm not going to be right the whole time. We can talk a little more comfortably. I just want to remember that. Okay, so where's Nathan staying at? He lives off of 51st Avenue.
died in 18 years to discover whose bones they were. So what we did was we went and met uh, William Sr. and we took a DNA sample from William Sr. to compare against the bones that were found in this field. Comes back as a high probability. We've done a lot of homework since then, which brought us to Phoenix, right? Um, what we're going to ask you is to consent to DNA to prove that that identified young male is your son. And I'll be honest with you, Teresa, how you talk back by your eye, you're a young single female, I'm not buying that you left your seven year old with some unknown female, I'm not, I'm not buying. I'm not. So you think that I did something to you? I don't, I absolutely don't, I said. I absolutely don't. But I do think something happened. I think he became ill. Um, I have his school records, his immunization records, his birth certificate. There's never been a report made of a missing person. I think something unfortunate happened, that you were scared. I'm not saying you killed anybody. This ain't 1994. But I think something happened and you panicked and left Georgia. That's what I think. And it's more than just you being on tough times at a shelter and giving your six or seven year old son to a stranger. That didn't happen. Teresa, look at I, I, I would never, I know I should have left him, but I would never hurt him. I never said you did. Yes. Don't say he's murdered. I'm not, this is, this is John Doe, isn't that what that means? No, it's because he didn't have a name for him for years. Oh my God, okay. So the first, I'm confused. Ask me a question. Okay, so then you, you talk to you, you talk to his father, you talk yes. to his father, and he goes in and says, and, and that saying that it's a match. Yes. Okay. But we don't have both biological parents. It's not a so. William, his father. It is like a one in fifty million chance that he's not the father, but. 1 in 50 million isn't about to say you got 100%. Now, I know 99.9999999% yes. So what we're going to ask is for your DNA to confirm that you are the son of William Sr. Okay. 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 So that's a process of things. <coughs> and we want to hear what story you got. And I'm hearing your story. And you don't believe me. I, I mostly, I, I mostly do. Um, but in my mind, I feel like in the last 22 ish years since 1999, um, that you dreaded that this day might come where you would have to answer some questions as far as where your son is. I don't believe that you left your son with a stranger at a homeless camp. I don't. I don't. Um, and we've done this together for a long time. A long, a, a thousand times. Um, I'm not judging you. I'm not mad at you. I respect you. Everyone has a story. Um, I need a real story. A lot of time effort. So look, this came from the National Centers for Misplaced Children. Okay. In Washington, D.C., there has been years of work to prove from this child, this seven year old child, that bones were found. Okay. Um, it's a big media thing, it's a big social media following. Um, I, I don't accept, uh, I'm not always right, but I don't accept the, you know, time for tough, and I was in a shelter for a while, and I just gave my seven-year-old to a stranger. And we can debate with the definition of a stranger, that's not what we're here today, too. But I need the real story. That is the real because story. 
years, I'm not giving you the whole story. Like, I can't show you all my cards. I'm giving you pieces of the puzzle. But there are things that I know um, about your son that I'm not going to disclose with you right now. So, like, um, I just can't for the integrity of the case. But I'm telling you, um, my wife, you're, you're reporting missing. Where, where do you go to school at? 
hours. Um, 
What's the post for that? Um,
things I can't tell you. I just can't tell you. Oh my god. I did so. I have to. I was going to try to tell some 
your questions. As I go to the look in the dust, the regular areas are bus stops or something like that. So you were staying with
so um, this is a copy of the search warrant that we have. If I know you consented, I, I know. But just I wanted to let you know that we did go through with this. Okay.
questions, Teresa?
wake up that morning. It's not reviving. So come Yeah. 